this time, we've been recognizing our National Day of Prayer all day long. As we wrap up our midday praise party, we're going to wrap it up right now with a very wonderful, renowned uh, pastor, superintendent, and now he is the bishop, Bishop Wooden Sr. at Upper Room Church of God in Christ. How are you doing, Bishop? I'm doing good today. I'm honored to be a part of this National Day of Prayer, and I am honored to be on this station. Thank you so much for including me. Well, God bless you. You are more than welcome, and thank you for coming on. Come on and share with us what God has placed in your heart in prayer. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Dear God of the Bible, God and Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, O oh God, the, the one true God, the only wise God, our Savior, we call upon your holy name. We thank you, O oh God, that we live in a nation that would set aside a day uh, like today for prayer. We thank you for all of your blessings. We thank you, O oh God, for being kind to us. Lord, you've been better to us than we deserve. You've been better to us than we've been to you. And Lord, you've been better to us than we've been to each other. Oh, Father, you've blessed our state. You've blessed our nation. And Lord, you've been good to us. Before we even bring up any of the things that we're concerned about, we've got to stop and tell you thank you. For you have given us a land where people brave deserts, people sell seas, people do all kinds of things to try to get in this great land. And Lord, you've blessed us to be born here. Although it is not a perfect land, we thank you for things being as well as they are. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the things that even we take for granted. Our life, our health, our strength, our ability to, to live, move, earn a living, and get around. Thank you, Lord. We ask that you will be, uh, that your will will be done in our lives that you would have your way in our lives, that you would have your way in our nation and even around the world. Save the souls that are nearest hell. Deliver the bound, O oh God. Those who are bound by sin, habit, and vice, we ask you, O oh God, to deliver. We repent, Lord, of our sins. Even as we pray today, we ask you to forgive us for our transgressions. Forgive us, oh God, for at times behaving as though we don't need you. For we need you, Lord, as never before. We pray, oh God, that you would look on us and that you would look on the poor in our community, the poor in our nation, the underserved, those who lack opportunity and lack privileges. And we pray, oh God, that you would bless them and uh, give us strength to do right by everybody. We pray, O oh Lord, for the very least of these, which include the unborn in our nation. Oh God, over 4,000 abortions per day just in this country alone. Je Jesus, we pray for them, those silent little people who can't speak for themselves. We ask that you would save them, Lord. We ask that you would stop this practice. We pray for homes, for children, for mothers, for fathers, for sisters, for brothers. We pray for race relations in our nations, that you would bring peace, Lord, and make things better. We're glad, oh God, that we live in a nation where there is the peaceful transference of power, but oh God, things can get better. We pray that you turn the tide, that we not have anarchy and chaos in the streets, but bless us, oh God, with peace. Lord, you told us to pray for the kings and the leaders of the world that we might live a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. So, Father, we pray from the White House to the poor house, oh God, and for all who are in power in between, that you, oh God, will guide their minds and guide their hearts and guide policies and make us a, a more peaceful place in a greater nation in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, as I wrap this prayer up, I thank you for this station. I thank you for this opportunity to participate with other men and women of God who have prayed to you. We call on you, O oh God. We call on you, not as though you are one God among many that we can pray to, but that you are the only God, the only true and living God. You are the God of the Bible, God and Father of our Lord and Savior, 
Jesus Christ, we ask you to help us. We ask you to save us. We ask you to keep us. We ask that you watch over us. We put our lives in your hands. After all, it's actually in your hands. It's going to be what you said. And so we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you, O oh Lord, for this prayer. We pray, O oh God, that you would have your way in the name of Jesus Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this opportunity. God bless you. Take care. God bless.